So aren't you happy you've finished your quilt and now we're going to put it together. So we're going to start in the center first and we're going to add the top and the bottom border first. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. I've sewn the top and the bottom border to the center piece and now we're ready to do the sides but before that you have to sew a sashing strip here on both sides and it's the same fabric as that. Um, now I'm going to take that to the, uh, to the machine and I'm going to sew them together. So I've sewn all these four borders together. Now it's time to do the next applique border. Now if you remember that we had to leave a little bit of stem out there on all four corners. So you put that together with the quilt, making sure that the bird is facing outside. Okay, I've added the borders and you can see the bird is facing outside, which means when you put the top and the bottom, the bird will all be looking that way. Okay. Now, when you put this border on, just remember that you've got this stem hanging loose here. So just move it back and pin it there so it doesn't get caught in your seam allowances. When you've sewn them together, you will join that there, push that under the blue circle, and up here you're gonna add a leaf. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm taking doing this on my phone, so I can't get the full view. So I've only put the top, but you've got to add the top and the bottom layer. Now this is what I wanted to show you a close up of. Uh, if you remember, I did say that you had to add these corner leaves after you sewed your borders together. Now what happened when I went to sew them is I couldn't find this particular green fabric. So I just substituted this green fabric and I really don't think it matters. So don't stress out if you can't find your fabric like I couldn't. The other thing is before you add your final border, you need to add some sashing here and that will be the instructions. So please don't forget that because if you don't add the sashing, your border is not going to fit. And now we're on to the final border. So you can see I've just stuck it on the top and at the bottom. So you add your top border and your bottom border first and then you add the side borders. And then your quilt is finished, you're going to quilt it, you're going to do a label, you're going to take a photo and you're going to send it to me.